Hello, welcome to part 6 of this series. As you all know, we have been doing some basic steps in the previous part. After completing some of the basic questions, we will be moving to our clinical questions. So, let's don't waste much time. Let's move to question number 101. Which nerve innervates the muscle responsible for wrist extension? Option A, median nerve. Option B, ulna nerve. Option C, radial nerve. Option D, musculocutaneous nerve. And the answer is... Option C, radial nerve. Let's move to question number 102. During the concentric phase of the biceps curl, which muscle group is primarily responsible for elbow flexion? Option A, brachialis. Option B, brachioradialis. Option C, biceps brachii. Option D, triceps brachii. And the answer is... Option C, biceps brachii. Now let's move to question number 103. What is the primary function of serratus anterior muscle? Option A, scapular elevation. Option B, scapular depression. Option C, scapular protraction or abduction. Option D, scapular retraction or adduction. And the answer is... Option C, scapular protraction. Now let's move to question number 104. Which spinal level corresponds to the phrenic nerve? Option A, C3, C4. Option B, C5, C6. Option C, C7, C8. Option D, T2, T3. And the answer is... Option A, C3, C4. Now let's move to question number 105. Which muscle is responsible for initiating the first phase of soloing? That's deglutination. Option A, staphylopharyngeus. Option B, glaucus. Option C, mylohyoid. Option D, sternocleidomastoid. And the answer is... Option C, mylohyoid. Now let's move to question number 106. What is the primary function of the supraspinatus muscle? Option A, shoulder abduction. Option B, shoulder adduction. Option C, shoulder external rotation. Option D, shoulder internal rotation. And the answer is... Option A, shoulder abduction. Now let's move to question number 107. Which ligament connects the lateral malleolus of the fibula to the calcaneus bone? Option A, anterior talofibular ligament. Option B, posterior talofibular ligament. Option C, calcaneo fibular ligament. Option D, deltoid ligament. And the answer is... Option C, calcaneo fibular ligament. Now let's move to question number 108. During concentric phase of the leg press exercise, which muscle group is primarily responsible for knee extension? Option A, cordyceps femoris. Option B, hamstring. Option C, gastronomus. Option D, tibialis anterior. And the answer is... Option A, Corsus Femoris. Now let's move to question number 109. Which spinal level corresponds to the sciatic nerve? Option A, L4, L5. Option B, L5, S1. Option C, S1, S2. Option D, S2, S3. And the answer is... Option B, L5, S1. Now let's move to question number 110. Which muscle group is primarily responsible for lateral rotation of the hip joint? Option A, Gluteus Maximus. Option B, Pyriformis. Option C, Quadratus Femoris. Option D, Soyas Major. And the answer is... Option B, Pyriformis. Now let's move to question number 111. What is the primary function of the trapezius muscle? Option A, Shoulder Abduction. Option B, Scapular Elevation. Option C, Scapular Depression. Option D, Scapular Retraction. And the answer is... Ocean B, scapular elevation. Now let's move to question number 112. Which spinal level corresponds to the ulnar nerve? Ocean A, C5, C6. Ocean B, C7, T1. Ocean C, T1, T2. Ocean D, T2, T3. And the answer is... Ocean B, C7, T1. Now let's move to question number 113. A patient with diagnosis of Meniere's disease is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate for improving balance and reducing vertigo episode? Option A. Vestibular rehabilitation exercise. Option B. Ultrasound therapy. Option C. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Option D. Iondophoresis. And the answer is... Option A. Vestibular rehabilitation exercises. Now let's move to verse number 114. A patient with diagnosis of biceps tendinopathy is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate in initial stages of treatment? 
ऑप्शन ए एक्सेंड्रिक बाइसेप स्ट्रेंथनिंग एक्सरसाइजेस ऑप्शन बी कॉर्टिकोस्टेरॉयड इंजेक्शंस ऑप्शन सी क्रॉस फ्रिक्शन मसाजेस ऑप्शन डी एक्टिविटी मॉडिफिकेशन एंड रिलेटिव ट्रस्ट एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एक्टिविटी मॉडिफिकेशन एंड रिलेटिव रेस्ट नाउ लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 115 A patient with recent total hip arthroplasty is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following exercises would be the most appropriate in the early post-operative phase? Option A, SLR or straight leg raise. Option B, closed chain leg press exercise. Option C, hip abduction exercises. Option D, bridging exercises. And answer is Option C, hip abduction exercises. Now let's move to question number 116. A patient with diagnosis of multiple sclerosis is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate for managing fatigue and improving endurance? Option A, high intensity interval training. Option B, aerobic exercise training. Option C, isokinetic resistance training. Option D, pyelometric exercises. And the answer is Option B, aerobic exercise training. Now let's move to question number 117. A patient with diagnosis of complex regional pain syndrome is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate for managing pain and improving function? Option A, mirror therapy. Option B, ultrasound therapy. Option C, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Option D, ion diaphoresis. And the answer is Option A, mirror therapy. Now let's move to question number 118. A patient with diagnosis of thoracic outlet syndrome is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following exercises would be the most appropriate for improving posture and reducing nerve compression? Option A, shoulder shrug. Option B, pectoral stretches. Option C, resisted shoulder external rotation exercises. Option D, upper trapezius strengthening exercises. And the answer is Option B, pectoral stretches. Now let's move to question number 119. A patient with recent anterior crochet ligament reconstruction is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following exercises would be the most appropriate in late post-operative phase for improving neuromuscular control and functional stability? Option A, closed chain squats. Option B, agility drills. Option C, stationary cycling. Option D, isometric quadriceps contraction. And the answer is Option B agility drills. Now let's move to question number 120. A patient with diagnosis of Gulen Barrett syndrome is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate in acute phase of condition? Option A functional electrical stimulation. Option B progressive resistance training. Option C respiratory muscle training. Option D constraint induced movement therapy. And the answer is Option C respiratory muscle training so that's all for today if you have any doubts please do mention in the comment box i'll be back with part 7 soon till then bye bye see you and all the best for your exams thank you